thanks for being here, y'all. Um, you know, it's finals week. Um, it's a real, real challenging time of the year for our student athletes here at Texas. Um, you know, Texas is really a challenging university academically, and uh, so we've had, um, and we took yesterday off just because I, I had probably three or four kids that really needed the day to, to try to navigate um, the challenges that they had academically. Probably didn't have everybody, but um, between actually having a final exam and then just needing the day to spend with Marnie in academics, it was pretty challenging. So. Um, we, we, we've got, we had a really good day Wednesday in practice. I uh, was really uh, pleased with how hard we went Wednesday. Tuesday, not so, but Wednesday was really good. Took yesterday. Uh, we got to have two really good days today. I, I see us getting better. I see our chemistry getting better, both ends of the floor. And, um, and so um, excited to, to see what today looks like. And, and again, I'm always excited to see us play the next one. We're, we're, we're trying to get he healthy. Uh, we'll still be without Taylor, but uh, everybody else seems to be um, on the mend and doing well. D will be back in today, and um, you know, just I'm excited to to kind of get see what we can do with a almost full roster. So uh, that being said, Amo's been doing well. She's she's kind of been a little bit limited, um, but hopefully today will be a really good day for her. We need her to. You know, she's been our leading scorer in the last five ball games. Um, she, I think she's second on the season, but she's been our leading scorer in the last five, so on, on average. So we, we've got to continue to get get as much as we can from her, uh, both ends of the floor. She she proved to us in, uh, in uh, the Bahamas that she can be a great help defender and took, took four charges in one game. So I'd like for her to continue to be that for us and at the same time, um, you know we've got to get we've got to get a little bit more from her on offense, and uh, and a lot of that has to do with just keeping her out of foul trouble. So uh, again, excited about today, excited about the weekend. We've got a big big next week and a half. It's uh, it's really going to be we're going to really be challenged, and uh, we need to play well. Questions? Well, yeah, I don't think we get to ask student athletes this very much, but what is a week like this like where? You have some stuff you got to get done in the classroom, but there's also stuff you know, on the court you need to also deal with. Um, it's <clears throat> definitely busy, um, and it is a lot, but at the same time, that's a part of being a student athlete is knowing how to juggle things, different things. Um, but I, like I said, Texas sets you up for success. I mean, we have the academic people, Marnie, Haley. We have study hall times. Um, and I mean, Coach Schaefer, like you said, he knows this was a challenging week for a lot of us with finals coming up. You know, we have final projects due this week. It's kind of the final stretch. Um, so he's given us opportunities and time off um, to be able to get that done. But it's definitely something I had to, I, my freshman year now, it was, it was really interesting. <laughs> um, but it's been, <laughs> it's better this year. memory. Yeah. Uh, I forgot that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I learned a lot last year, um, so I think it's you know it's about for freshmen to get the help they need. Um, but being a sophomore now, I got it. So, but yeah, they're always there to help. So very appreciative of them. <laughs> is, there, is there a final you absolutely are looking forward to? Um, yeah, I took my French final yesterday. <laughs> Praying to God about that. <laughs> um, I enjoyed the class, you know. Just it was, it's difficult to learn a language in a classroom, um, and then you know we're always so busy. So I'm hoping that I did well though. Why French? Because um, it's better than the sign language class she took a year ago. That's all I can tell you. Wee <laughs> wee, oui, oui, that is true. Yeah, that is true. Um, I don't know. I just like the language. I think it's it's nice. It's pretty. It's nice to speak. Um, when people are fluent, it just. Parlez-vous français? <laughs> not like that. I'm <laughs> not kidding. I'm just kidding. We do. Yeah, I have teammates on the team that speak French. And when I hear them speak it, it's just like, I kind of want to know what they're saying. And then it sounds nice, so pretty cool language. I think I saw a graphic the other day um, talking about how you have all have five um, players averaging double digit points. And yeah. granted, that's a little skewed because I think they've only played together once. Yeah. <laughs> um, schematically, would you like balanced scoring, or would you prefer to have that one? lead dog who's averaging 25 and everyone kind of fills it around that? Uh, I think I'd rather have the the three or four that are kind of bunched in there, you know, 
and then knowing that you've got another player that can go off and get you 15 or 20 on any given night. But um, the problem with that lead dog getting 25 a night is when that dog doesn't get that, nobody else is usually prepared to get it. And so then you, you end up losing. So I, I like the balance scoring. A lot of my, my better teams have had three, four people, average double figures. and and then always have that player uh, that could jump up and, and, and bite you for 18 or 21 that might average nine or 10. Is there an update on Taylor? Is it still status quo? Yeah, she's, she's out this, this weekend. I think that's safe to say. And, and uh, you know, um, I think next week she gets reevaluated. Um, but, uh, and then I'll have a, another update when I get that evaluation as far as what the next probably couple of weeks look like. So um, right now, I'm just I know she won't play Sunday. Uh, she hadn't practiced in, in over a week and, um, and I don't anticipate her practicing for another week. Yeah. Uh, for Aaliyah, um, you know, I'm sure if we ask you later in the season about this kind of stretch, you guys will say, it prepares you for later on some of these close battles, but these bumps and bruises, is it kind of tough to see the big picture when you're in some of these struggles here early in the season? Um, it definitely is. I will say, like, for me, <clears throat> even through high school, uh, we've never started out like this. And so I think for a lot of us, we've never started out like this before. So we're kind of having to, you know, look back and, you know, figure out, like, what's going on. Um, at the end of the day, it is, it's early in the season, but we need to figure out what's going on because we can't, you know, let it continue. Uh, we need to fix the things that are, that we're doing wrong. Um, so it's definitely, it's odd. <laughs> Especially just because like, you know, last year, what we were at last year with this team, we weren't um, in this position. Uh, and so it's just, I think it's like adversity, like Coach says, we're gonna figure out who can handle it and who can't. And we're figuring it out right now. And I think as a, as a whole, we're, we're figuring it out and we're learning that we can get past it. It's just gonna take a little more work. Um, but I believe it's going to pay off when you really, really need it. So just got to keep working. Rick, I don't know if you have an update yet on Kendall, but at this point in the season, because of ramp up time and all this stuff, is it fair to say that you guys don't expect much from her this season? You know, I, I, I don't know really what's fair to say, to be honest with you, Danny. Um, it is, you know, it's been, our team has now been practicing and, and playing for two and a half months. And uh, and so um, again, we we've um, we've certainly um, we love Kendall and, and care deeply about her and, and want what's best for her. And um, at, at this point, though, I think you know with everything our team's been through, the challenges that we've had with injuries and um, limited um, flexibility with our lineup because we've been challenged. Um, you know, this team that we have right now, they've they've already been through a lot in a really short period of time. You know, and that's what I'm in you know, it's it's hard, but I'm encouraged by it. You know, I I sit and look what we've gone through. I watch them practice every day. I, I've seen our you know, since it, you know, we, we didn't play well Friday night and it was all my fault. I didn't have them ready to play. We got popped. Um, made some adjustments, came out, played much better the second half, but South Florida made a bunch of really good, tough plays down the stretch, and, and they beat us. And uh, you know, I think our practices have been better. Uh, our tempo's been better. We've played harder. Um, we understand, uh, I think, I'm hopeful that we understand, but we've got a really tough schedule coming up as well. So, um, you know, that's kind of where my focus is right now. Uh, Again, we, we care deeply about Kendall and, and, uh, and um, you know, we've been able to, to stay in touch from afar, if that makes sense. Uh, but, uh, you know, we, all I can do is coach the ones that I have. That's fair. And, and so that's what I've been trying to do. They've been trying to develop chemistry with the ones that are in the locker room and can play. We've had certainly had certain players that, that have had to miss some, some games. We still have Taylor who's out. And so. Again, my, my encouragement is seeing us in practice and seeing how we're getting better. And I think Amo would tell you we're getting better in certain areas. It's incrementally. It's uh, some days are better than others. But I saw a big difference even, you know, on Sunday and how we played and the tempo that we played at, how we got up and down the floor. 
uh, decision making. We had too many turnovers still. I think we had 15, 18 or 15. Um, but three or four of them were late in the game, and uh, I, I don't I don't get too tied up with all that. So. And then this Sunday, you all doing your um, teddy bear? Yeah. Uh, so we, we asked you about this last year, but can you kind of take us back to Mississippi State and kind of how this idea came about? Yeah, it's just a it's a really fun day, a, a neat day, and it's a day that my team, uh, our players can give back, uh, our community can give back. Um, and so we, we really love to have, you know, we'd love to have a nice crowd again on Sunday. Everybody bring a teddy bear. Um, and uh, at halftime, we'll have um, a teddy bear toss. You know what I'd like to do now? I'd like to do it when we score the first basket. But I think it's a technical foul. But I would love to do it when we make the first basket, everybody just throw teddy bears on the floor. Um, and, and I think that'd be really cool. You know, they used to do it. There was a college basketball team that used to throw toilet paper after the first made basket. They'd throw it in the arena and it would stop the play and they'd have to clean it all up. It's kind of a pun on words there. And then and then the game could resume. Well, then they came back and said, hey, y'all keep doing that, it's gonna be a technical foul. So uh, in any case, it's, it's just a really cool thing for us to do. We give those then to a local charity who can provide those for uh, children here in the Austin community uh, for a Christmas present. And, and so it's just a, it's a neat deal, and um, really, we're we're proud and, and uh, glad to have the opportunity to, in some small way, uh, maybe impact a, a young person's life here in the, in, in the Austin area. I mean, what was that like last year um, when you were on the court and all these teddy bears were <laughs> tossed on, tossed on the court? Um, I loved it. I thought it was a really cute idea, um, and like you said, it's for a great cause. You know, I personally love kids and love you know children something I'm very passionate about so I love the thought behind it and giving them to them for Christmas so it was awesome um, I agree I wish we did it after the first the first uh, bucket too I would throw one out there um, but it's okay I'll take what I can get Have you been trying to jack up the first shot if that was <laughs> no <laughs> no <laughs> no that's uh, not, <laughs> not looking ahead but we all know Jackson State's really good we had a knockdown drag out with them last year um, and all probably, you know, likely they should have beat LSU in the NCAA tournament. I mean, they're well coached, um, you know, got great players, got some really good transfers from all over the country. So going on the road, but again, that was something I just felt like was, you know, we, we I wanted to do. I have a lot of respect for, for, for their coach. And um, they just, uh, again, we recruit that area. And, and so, uh, we got a challenging little stretch right here. So, and it's finals this weekend, obviously. So we've got finals and playing a game on Sunday. You don't want, you know, it, it just we need to be at home. So, this is who we could find and, and who would come play us. Anything else? Thank you. All right, appreciate y'all. Praise the Lord and look at